Hi, this is Sean Chua. Welcome back to A-LevelH2Chemistry.com. Today we're going to discuss a very important concept known as balancing redox equations. There are two methods to balance redox equations. The first type or the first method is known as the half reaction method, and the second one is known as the oxidation state method. Today, at the end of this video, you're going to learn how to balance redox equations using the half reaction method. Let's get started. All right. Looking at the board, uh, we'll first go through the steps or the procedures uh, to do the half reaction method. Now, step one is to use the OS, the oxidation state. Sometimes we call it oxidation numbers to identify the oxidized and reduced species in the question. Next, we're going to balance the number of atoms that is oxidized or reduced for each of the half reaction equations. One is the oxidation half, the other one is the reduction half equation. Next, we're going to balance the oxygen atom by adding water molecules to it. Fourth, we're going to balance the hydrogen atom by adding H plus ions to it. Now, take note that H plus ions, when we add this, is because of acidic medium. Next, we're going to balance the charges by adding electrons to the half equation. Last but not least, once you have two of the half equations, we're going to half we're going to combine the two half reaction equations to eliminate electrons. All right, let's get started and take a look. Okay, let's shift to this side. Now, uh, step one using oxidation state, right? To identify oxidized and reduced species. So if you take a look and let's say this is the question and example, your, um, your dichromate ion react iodine to become uh, IO3 minus, I believe these iodate ions and chromium 3 plus ion. So we're going to look at the oxidation state of the main species over here. Um, if you do some math, these um, chromium and dichromate should be plus 6 oxidation state. This is a free element, so iodine is 0. I over here will be plus 5 oxidation state, since oxygen is uh, minus 2. All right. And chromium is a simple ion, so this is plus 3. So from there, you can see a few things. All right, first, you can see that the chromium has been reduced. All right, because the oxidation number, the oxidation state has decreased from plus 3 or plus 6 to plus 3. And then your iodine, the oxidation state has increased from 0 to plus 5. So it has been oxidized. So we already know which substance has been oxidized and which is being reduced. So we are able to so-called um, write the half reaction equation, right, in a very uh, simple way. Now, let's do this first, um, iodine, all right? I2 will then become IO3 minus, all right? Let me keep this in the middle. I2 to become IO3 minus. All right, now we're going to go to step two, which is to balance the number of atoms uh, oxidized, reduced for each half reaction equation. So realize over here, this is your oxidation half. All right, this oxidation half. Um, the I, the iodine over here, there are two atoms. Over here, there's only one, so I multiply by two. All right, so we are at step two. Then we go to step three, is to balance the oxygen by adding water itself all right so we realize over here um, there are three oxygen by multiplied by the two in front so there are six oxygen atoms so we need to add six water molecules on the other side so i'm going to plus six h2o on this side and once you are done you're going to balance the hydrogen by adding h plus why because the question says it's an acidic medium so i'm going to add h plus all right, all the hydrogen realize are all on your left hand side of the equation. So six times two, the twelve. I'm going to add twelve hydrogen ions over here. All right, moving well. Then we need to balance the charges by adding electron. Charge means charge of um, the left and right hand side. Make sure that they are balanced. I'm going to use let's say orange color to show the charge. Now over here, uh, water and iodine are both neutral molecules. All right, they're all neutral. So the charge over here will be equals to zero. However, if you look on the other side, they're all ions. All right, over here there's two 
minus charge and over here is 12 plus so if you add them together it will become 2 minus 12 plus so you have a charge overall charge of 10 plus on this side we will go back and look at how to balance charges by adding electrons and electrons are negatively charged so the best way to do so is to add electrons on your right hand side so that will be 10 electrons right 10 minus 10 plus equals 0 is the same as this side so if you take a look this will then be your oxidation half reaction equations all right whereby the atoms count the H, count the O, their balance, and count the overall charge, which is zero on both sides. So take note that um, the atoms must be balanced. Second, the charges must be balanced, all right? So this is what we call the oxidation half equation, okay? So let's go to the other side, the reduction half. What do we have, all right? We're going to have Cr2O7, 2 minus, and then we're going to form Cr3 plus. We're going to do the same thing. So using oxidation state, identify the oxidized and reduced species. We are done with that earlier on. Balance number of atoms on each half. So chromium, there are two. Over here, there's only one. So I'm going to multiply by two. All right. Then balance oxygen by adding water. So there's seven O over here. I'm going to plus seven water. And you realize just now the next step will be multiplying all right, or adding H plus ions. Okay? So 7, 2, they are 14. So I'm going to plus 14 H plus over here. All right? Last step is to look at the charges. So uh, just be careful over here. They are 14 plus. And then here is 2 minus. So overall charge will be... 12 plus. Take a look on the other side. Water is neutral once again. Chromium is 3 plus, but there are two of them here, so total is 6 plus. So let me write this down. The overall charge on the right hand side is 6 plus. You're going to use electron, which is negatively charged, to balance this. 6 plus, 12 plus, so I'm going to put 6 electron here. 6 minus and 12 plus becomes 6 plus, and this will balance the right hand side. So this will be your reduction half equation. So what's the next, uh, next thing that we do is to eliminate the electrons. All right. So we're going to use um, simultaneous equation. All right. And then we're going to add them together. Now take a look on this side. Uh, this six electron. This is ten electron. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to multiply them. All right. I'm going to use the top equation multiplied by 3, so that will be 30 electrons. And I'm going to use um, the other half of the equation and I'm going to multiply 5. Alright, so that will also get me uh, 5 times 6, 30 electrons. Um, the equation on the top, okay, there will be 30 electrons on the right, and the equation at the bottom, there will be 6 times 5. Uh, 30 electrons on the left. So you add them up together, left add to the left side, right add to the right side. The electrons will cancel and whatever left behind that, that will be your uh, so-called final balance redox equation. Let's take a look and finish up here, right? So let's be very careful, all right? So um, three, so I'm going to have uh, 12 H2O and then, sorry, not 12, six times three is 18. So I'm going to have uh, 18 H2O plus 3 I2, all right? And then I'm going to add to this side, 6 electron, oh, it's 13. Have to be very careful. They're all numbers over here, all right? 6 times 5, that will be 30 electron. Then I have uh, 14 of this times 5, okay? So that will get me a big number. Wow, this is huge. 5 times 1 is um, 5, 50, 50, and then 4, there will be 70, 70 H plus. All right, and a 5, Cr2O7, 2 minus. 
Well, not space, so I go to the next line, all right? So I'm gonna to go to the other side. There'll be six I O three minus and 12 by three. So that is 36 H plus, 30 electrons. Go to the next one. Five times two, 10 C R three plus, and five seven is 35 H two O, all right? So let's take a look what can be Cancer. All right, left and right, 30 electrons, 30 electrons. Uh, what else do we have? Ah, water. 18 over here, they are 35, so I can strike off this side. 35 subtract 18, so I will have 17. So I have 17 water molecules. And what else? All right, this is H plus, this is also H plus. So 36, I'm going to strike this off. 70 minus 36, I would have. Uh, 34 H plus 34 right 34 H plus I believe that is the maximum or that's all we can cancel not then the equation will be 3 I 2 plus 7 plus 5 CR2O7 2 minus plus 34 H plus gives you 6IO3 minus and 10Cr3 plus and 17H2O. Alright, um, can we simplify it further? If not, uh, this should be your final equation. Alright, so this is a half reaction method. Alright, and uh, take a look at the steps and procedures of what we have done. This is in acidic medium, that's why we add H+. All right? In the next video, I'm going to show you how we balance redox equations in the alkaline medium by using half reaction method again. Hope you enjoy yourself and learn something useful. Feel free to rewind and review it again, as well as to share this with your friends who need help in balancing redox equations. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.